welcome once again to the um, to the channel. This time it's going to be about um, knitted sweaters. Um, some that I recently picked up, um, one that I already had, um, and yeah, in general it's just because it's getting colder. Um, so um, in general, knitted sweaters. Um, I think it's something that you can it can all, like always fit in your wardrobe, no matter what your style is, um, because they can take so many form and shapes. Um, and at the same time they can be very classical and experimental um, and I think with moving the fact that we're moving more, more and more towards streetwear um, I think it's important to also mix it up a bit with something more classical like a knitted sweater for example um, and also it's because I live in Denmark and it's getting hilariously cold now <laughs> um, so it's necessary to keep yourself warm um, so, the ones I recently picked up, the first one is this uh, Henrik Vipskov uh, navy sweater from uh, Spring Summer 15. This navy sweater from Spring Summer 15, um, the collection is called the Sticky Brick Fingers, as you can see. Um, the, fact that it's a, uh, the fact that it's a sweater from Spring Summer 15 actually means that um, it is very, very light compared to normal uh, knit sweaters. Um, that means that I'm actually able to wear it inside when working uh, without sweating too much. Um, in general, it, it's navy, um, but actually it has these black stitched, it's, it's contrast stitching with the black. Um, so it's, it's both navy and black, and then it has these um, details consisting of the paneling going down, um, creating this kind of depth um, to, the shirt, to, the, to the sweater. Um, in general, it's it's a, a sweater with a lot of details. Um, as you can see here at the uh, the bottom of the fold, it it kind of has a lot of details. Um, the attention to detail on this piece is very nice. I bought it off Grailed for a steal. I got it really cheap. Um, and of course, if you don't know Henrik Rips Vipskov, he's a probably the most prominent Danish designer, uh, fashion designer at the moment. Um, I'd say for menswear at least. Um, and then this is Spring Summer 15, a piece from that collection. Really nice, super versatile. Uh, you can dress it up, dress it down however you want. You can wear a shirt underneath or not, or just a t-shirt. Dress it up, dress it down, whatever you want to do. Super nice piece. The next piece is this uh, Libertine Libertine um, yellow and brown sweater right here, which I think is from Fall Winter 17. I'm not sure, it's also a Danish brand. Um, and I bought it at a sample and stock sale um, for a very low price um, and I talked with the owner and apparently they, they kind of incorporate this, uh, this sweater because the manufacturer in Italy had gone bankrupt. So there's no more production of this, um, of this sweater. So yeah, I actually don't know if it's a part of the collection at all or if it's a one-off. I only saw this one in this colorway. Um, yeah. But in general, it's this yellow brown mustard color with the contrasting uh, navy blue and then some gray um, here at the uh, at the bottom. Um, very nice piece. Very very warm. Um, it's a hundred percent new wool. Even though I don't know what the difference between wool and new wool is, maybe I'll look it up. Um, but. I'd say it's not as versatile as the one from Henrik Vipskov. Um, it's more of a statement, um, and you can't wear it with as much clothing. But still, in general, very nice piece will keep you very warm um, because it's such a heavy uh, piece of clothing. Yeah. Yes. So the last piece is the one I already had, and you should already have seen it in the Rick Owens video. It's a um, all black, uh, really oversized sweater from Frost Bergens. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's also an Danish brand and they have also gone brand bankrupt. Um, so you can't really get them anymore. Yeah, um, but I'd say this this one is, is has a more drapey fit. Um, it's oversized. It's very oversized actually, um, even though it's, it's the right size for me. Um, and I say this, this type of, of shirt is, or knit is more, um, is better suited for kind of the Rick Owen style with the drapey silhouette. Or you could also pair it with a more of, if you're going in the kind of Yeezy direction, even though that's not really my style, but 
I think it's super nice because of the like the big opening for um, for your neck, um, and then also the fact that it's a super nice quality, um, almost as heavy as the one from Libertine Libertine, but then it also has these elbow patches as you can see. Um, but it's a bit lighter. It's a bit you can see through because of the way it's knitted. Um, yeah, super nice also, but from a company that's gone bankrupt, so not really that accessible anymore. Moving on, some brands I'd recommend getting uh, sweaters from, and also some brands that I'm looking for sweaters from. Um, of course, Ethne Studios, um, they always do some nice ones um, in almost every collection. I think the Four Winds collection has this burgundy red one currently that is super nice, super heavy, um, but they retail at quite a steep price. So I'll see if I can get it um, when the Say when it when they hit the sale if they do. Helmut Lang also has some really nice pieces. Um, they're kind of more experimental. The ones with the um, with the elbows cut off. I think those are really nice. They did the re edition of those recently. Um, then we also have Mason Magiella, of course, um, Dries van Laten, and then um, your all time favorite Ref Simmons, um, and also some of the pieces he did with uh, for Jens Steel Sander. They have this bright this bright green one, I think. Um, and of course, there are many brands who, who do um, knits, almost every brand, brand do, uh, do knits, but um, I'd say what, what you should be looking for is something that kind of fits your style in a way, without it being too boring or, or something. Like, the, the whole thing with sweaters is that you can pull off something classical, um, but giving it kind of your own twist or your own style um, while staying warm. So you can like play with this classical look um, and apply it to your own style. Uh, yeah, I guess that was it. So thank you for watching. Bye.